And coming up on Focus Montreal, shopping for a great cause. More on the West Island Women's Shelter fundraising campaign after the break. You're watching Focus Montreal on Global. Well, the West Island Women's Shelter is a safe haven for victims of conjugal violence and their children. Since 1979, the shelter has been a place of comfort and safety to so many women living in fear. The shelter is more than just an emergency lifeline. It's a place where women can regain control over their lives and thrive again. To continue with that mission, the West Island Shelter is kicking off its Let's Stomp Out Violence fundraising campaign next Thursday, the 17th of November. Joining me now to talk about the fundraiser is board member and family law attorney Bridget Garso. So thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I am so Pleasure. excited to be with you on this event. We're going to have a great night on the 17th. We are very <laughs> excited that you're going to be there and it's such a privilege and we can't thank you enough. Oh, well, it's really fun. So tell me what's going to happen. What, what are we going to be doing? So what we're going to be doing is basically uh, having the event at Le Chateau at the Fairview Centre on November 17th. It is the launch of Pumps and Pearls, mm -hmm. which is we're hoping it's going to be an annual event. And so we're everybody, we're asking you to save the date November 21st next year because we're going to hold the gala. But for this year, we have partnered with RBC with Tony Lafredo, who's acting as our honorary chair, and also evidently with Le Chateau, who has been so generous with respect to the shelter, and it started last year in terms of donating clothes uh, for the women and children who use the shelter. And we're hoping that many of you come on the 17th for the launch at 5.30, and of course, Jamie will be there broadcasting live, yep. and that you come and buy some shoes. Yep. I all footwear, a certain percentage of the footwear, also, because it's called Pumps and Pearls, so evidently the pearls, and uh, some pashminas, and uh, the proceeds will be donated to, directly to the shelter to help us uh, with the fundraising in terms of all of the services that the shelter provides on an annual basis. We can get behind this, shopping for a good cause. More, shopping for a good cause, exactly. So it's at Le Chateau in Fairview, mm -hmm. and it's not just for those, so the event is from 5.30 to 9, I'll be there for that, but it's exactly. all day long on the 17th it's, that if you buy shoes at any Le Chateau, it's being donated to the women's at the Fairview at the shop Fairview At the store at the Fairview Shopping Centre, and also between the period of November 25th and also December Number six, it's the same idea. If you go to the Le Chateau store at Fairview Shopping Center and you buy any pairs of shoes, your pumps, your shoes for your Christmas cocktail party, um, also they're donating evidently the uh, the, the uh, proceeds of the pearls and uh, other jewelry mm. and some pashminas. And the the November 25th to December 6th, that is to mark the 10 days to stomp out violence against it's, women, it's, right? It's the, yeah, the 12 days. 12 days, <laughs> sorry. I can't the count. 12 days. <laughs> and also it's the tie-in with the International uh, Women's Day to also uh, eliminate the violence. It's a UN concept and also evidently to commemorate uh, the killings of the Polytechnic, the women, mm -hmm. uh, here in Montreal. So it's from November 25th to December 6th, exactly. So tell me about the shelter. You're a board member there, Bridget. I'm a oh, board member. Why are you involved? Why is it so important, not just to the West Island community, but Montreal in general? It's, it's an important, in terms of, in the West Island in particular, it is the only shelter if you go west from Dorval to Bay Durfee. It services all of the women and children who are victims of conjugal violence. And also women, uh, there's a misconception about the shelter because of its name, the West Island Women's Shelter. It also renders many services for women who live either in the South Shore, in Laval, or even downtown Montreal, because women want to distance themselves from the environment that they're trying to escape from. Mm -hmm. And so as a result, sometimes they do come to the West Island uh, shelter. The shelter provides a variety of services. Evidently, uh, shelter is a safe haven for women and children who are leaving uh, an environment where there is violence. Um, but also, they, um, we have about 30 counselors, workers, administrative staff who give uh, conferences to 
a variety of schools, whether it's primary or high school, there are conferences to raise awareness about conjugal violence to even several uh, police uh, officers in various stations. Mm. Uh, the CLSC also refers uh, particular cases because of the expertise that our workers have at the shelter yeah. when there are um, serious incidents of conjugal violence. So it provides a ton of services to people all across the island, important to raise money for them, and we're yes. doing that through Le Chateau. Yes, and, and also what's very important is the fact that it's women that come to the shelter. Some of them stay for a few days or a few months. We also have a transitional second stage housing yeah. for those that want to stay longer, but also some of the women who want to leave their home and do do not feel that they have the tools to do yeah. to leave um, safely. I have to wrap you up there, yeah. Bridget. We're okay. completely out of time. Okay. But That's thank fine. you so much. Thank you. And we very want to much. encourage everybody to get involved in the campaign. To learn more about it, you can visit the website at wiws.ca. And still to